All right, so the date now is September 26, 2013, and uh, I know you're probably wondering why am I talking right now. Um, well, just because the upcoming episode is going to be really, really short, about approximately four minutes. And a four-minute video, that's like nothing. That's not even worth clicking. It's just a little short thing without commentary of me using drop a million times to get a safe. Now, getting a safe was basically a short-time goal. Pretty much a short time goal. Like, it. That's just. I just immediately came to my mind. Let's, let's go get this safe. Um, let's go get this safe. Uh, for our, the last few minutes of Toontown. That's what I did. And it only took like 10 minutes approximately. Today is also the last day of rendering videos. This. This. Is the last video I am rendering for Toontown LP itself. Now there's gonna be a lot more Toon Town videos that are gonna come up later in different times, depending of when I get around to working on them, such as the drop montage or Toon Town highlights video, or in fact even the David Bowie compilation that I've never mentioned, but I'm gonna be working on that too as well. That's gonna be released um, later too, and then probably Void of Toon Town. Uh, before anybody, nobody actually addressed this question. And I hope everybody who asked me this question has watched this uh, specific episode in LP about Toon Town Rewritten, which is... Wow, Toon Town Rewritten. I don't know what to say, but if Toon Town Re Rewritten does come out, I'm probably gonna go continue or finish my LP by playing Toon Town Rewritten as a different tune. I mean, it's still gonna be like the same name, sort of. I think I might do a little bit of changes or improvision but it's not probably not gonna be the same, and it's gonna be a lot of work trying to get back to that same point. So yeah, you might see me finish up that LP just to get thing, get it done, and then I probably, you probably won't see me on Toontown forever. I might get back on to do some things, I guess, but or play with uh f like viewers, but I'm not certain. Anyways, like I said, this was the last. This is psh, this is because I'm talking now. I'm not talking past tense. What I'm talking about now, robot. Um. This is the last day I'm rendering videos, and well, if I did say it's September 26, 2013, let's do some math. So when Toontown closed, it was September 19. If you minus by seven days um, from the 26, you get back to the 19th. Today is Thursday, and well, when Toontown closed, it was also Thursday. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I should mention anything like this. Do I feel sick at all? Like, do I even feel unhealthy because Toontown's gone for a very long time? Like, so long is not coming back? Well, do you feel, just by rendering videos, um, just by rendering these videos, I feel kind of fulfilled, I guess, for the previous week because I was just editing. Uh, then rendering like normally, so then my computer stay healthy. I say healthy. That's stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that, it did fulfill myself, and I enjoy watching um the tune down stuff all the time. Looking on the memorious things that lasted in the last days of Toontown, which is pretty good. But then after this is done, this I'm gonna probably feel very very sad, and I'm just, just not necessarily depressed. Because there are different games that I play daily, but Toontown was a daily game I played when I was a child. Uh, despite having like minimal time playing it, because that account was shared, and most of the time, um, in the beginning, I didn't get to play it as much. But then later on the end, I get to play it more uh, because of Toontown. Our Club Penguin subscription went down to waste. And then because of Roblox, our Toontown subscription went down to waste. So, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about later. Um, a lot of the stuff that I should have addressed will be addressed in the Last Moments video, which I uploaded uh, a lot, like, a, lo a little time before, I guess. Um, a little while ago, <laughs> I guess. And, you know, that was like, like a week ago I uploaded it. That's going to be episode 100, and uh, by clicking on to episode 100, it will address most of my concern not not just necessarily concerns but my more of my memories and how everything got down together I will mention this when everything got down together oh I smacked my lips too hmm. um, <sighs> so it came together 
when I've heard the news that Toontown was closing and well I never got subscription since well 2009 I guess so when's the last time I got a subscription? 7th grade is when I got a subscription so that's the um just 4 years? 3 years? sort of? I don't know but um yeah, I haven't played for a long time. I played free to play for a little bit, and I talked to some tunes. But what interests me is, I really missed the game, and I had in my mind, two is closing, two is closing, and I always had in my head, addressing since many years, I keep practicing my voice a lot, uh, in the shower, when I'm alone, um, when I eat lunch alone, I guess, I do stuff like that too with my mouthful, I don't, I don't know, but I tried practicing the voice to speak, um, and so, I decided I need to do an LP one day, and the LP, the first LP I want to do is not what I wanted to do, but it came to my mind, this should, this is what it be, if Tudan is closing forever, and then, the game is free to play. One, I get to replay the game that I played in my childhood. And two, I think it'll be one really, really interesting let's play. Like everything I have in my mind, I keep thinking it should be. Well, every single my LP should be really interesting and unique, and that's what I tried to go for. And so I walk up the steps, thinking about this, because um, we live in a two-story house, to my brother, who I shared account with, and I talk to him. And I says, Do you think it's a good idea that I start to let's play? And he says, Yeah, go for it. So, I sit down, and I record it on the second day they announced uh, Two Town Closing. And then I s just began a like, two hour session. Well, if there were 50 minutes each for five minutes, that's an hour session for day two, so whatever. Oh, uh, well. And because of this, um, I resulted into a little less time being social with the friends I talk to every day, and this kind of destroyed my routine, and I learned quite a lot of things about uh, Let's Plays too, which I do address in the 100th episode. So what the only thing I'm going to go down to now is editing and sessions and rendering. So every single session I record, um, it's about like say four hour recording sessions and usually I get like two hours from it because I cut out a lot of stuff and I don't record. It's mostly like walking back from street to street, cutting out like some inimportant like cog battles and then putting the highlights where it's interesting. And so... It makes it makes a very very short you know video, but it takes a lot of time to record a session. But it's not the time constraints from sessions that stops me from talking to friends in general. It's more rendering the videos, and rendering the video is about approximately 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes like in time to render a video, and usually I get about five. Um, episodes at least for one session, and so that makes say, wow, it's a long time, <laughs> two hours. Um, sometimes the rendering takes longer because of the amount of frames that are put into the video, despite being like 15 minutes. There's some parts where like speeding up the buildings. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes, not 15 minutes, like. All those minutes that were put into a frame, I speed it up. Still, the frames within it, and so it's still rendering more. In fact, and sometimes it takes up to an hour, sometimes an hour and 30 minutes. Like I just rendered a video that took an hour and 30 minutes, and that was that was crazy and not fun. So that destroyed a lot of my time. Sometimes I record up to like eight hours, and you're like, oh geez. And in the end, um, I never really talked to any of my friends over via Skype. Or talk to them through Facebook or Steam. I don't have a mobile phone myself or another computer, in fact, to communicate with them because this is the only computer I use. And therefore, I'm completely void with talking to a social distancing with any of my friends in this Let's Play. Which was fine with them, to be honest, because they were perfectly fine and they accepted the, f the fact and how much meaning this game gives to me. 
Sorry, it sounds really, really selfish, but yeah, I just, I just want to thank them for be, uh, just like understanding um, the project and the hard work this takes to making this. I want to thank them for that. And there are times where I do take breaks now. Uh, for example, when I take my first break, um, it's usually like, say, day 10 to day 12, I take one day break to talk or catch up, and then I go back, or I edit videos on, like, a bunch of videos on that day, and then they look to me, and they say, I mean, not look to me, they call me, and they say, hey, what's up, man, say, hey, what's up, what you been doing to me? Oh, I just dropped French too because our French teacher gave us a 60 question test, and it's graded on the first day, yeah. It's great. Oh well. I think I should be done talking here, really. <sighs> These breaks are good to keep me healthy, keep my computer healthy. So, anyways guys, uh, watch this guys, get in our safe. I can't do buildings anymore, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go fight cogs. I'm going to... I'm going to go to... Crazy Grove. Actually... Giggly Hills.